Welcome to Max in 5, I'm going to teach you some cool stuff inside 3ds Max in under 5 minutes. So let's go to plane and the most important thing to start off with is a complete perfect square. I'm going to right click, convert, editable poly, I'm going to go into the edge mode, shortcut key number 2. I'm going to select those two edges, if I press F3 you can see that edge and that edge is selected. Connect tool, I'm going to choose two segments and I'm going to choose the pinch of 80. I'm going to press the tick button. What I'm going to do now is select these edges. Make sure you select all of them. I'm going to click the connect tool again and I'm going to choose 80 again. So now that we have this model here, I'm going to go into polygon mode, which is shortcut key number four. Select the middle polygon. I'm going to detach that polygon, clicking the OK button. Now I'm going to select this polygon again. I'm going to go to the edge mode again. Same process. Select those two edges, click on connect. This time I'm going to make this a bit smaller, 90, click tick, these guys, connect, make it 90. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a polygon, we're going to click on that polygon right over there. This one we are going to detach and actually call this glass because this model is basically done from that point. If I go into perspective mode, this is my glass, this is going to be the inner frame and obviously that is the outer frame. So very, very simple at the moment. What I'm going to do is select the glass. I'm going to go into modify list. I'd like to give it some thickness. In my case, I just like working three up and three down. Hide this model now. I'm going to select this polygon right over there. So this object right here, I'm going to isolate that for you to show you what I'm about to do. I'm going to grab the polygons. I'm going to select these polygons. I'm going to click the detach button, click the OK. If I alt Q this, which is to isolate the object again, I would like to show you that we have unnecessary edges here. Select the edges you want to remove, holding the control key, then press backspace. Now, right click, unhide all. We do need to adjust this one. So alt and Q there again, and there is reasoning to my madness. Polygon mode, select those polygons, detach, click OK. Same process now, we know what we're doing. Remember, the edges, one, two, three, four, holding control, press backspace, those are removed. Right click, unhide all. Now we've got one, two, three, and four objects. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a shell modifier. So this object here and that object there, if I select both of them, I can go into the modify list and add a shell modifier to both of them. I'm gonna choose a 30 and a 30, make it nice and thick. I'm gonna select the middle two frames. Again, same process, shell modifier. This one I want thinner, 15 and 15, because again, they are smaller. Right click, unhide all. You can right click, convert to edible poly. I can attach the objects together. I've got the inside one. So again, right click, convert, edible poly. I'm gonna attach the inside frame together. What I can do now at this point is select both of these frames. Modify list, press C for chamfer. Have a look where chamfer is, right over there. Now if I go into amount two with two segments, it's looking really awesome. At this point, save select this model and you can use this anywhere that you want. So I'd like to show you one more design. Let's go into our plane mode, click and drag, make sure that it's a meter by meter because we're not following a CAD plan. Convert, edible poly, but no connect mode. I'm gonna go into polygon mode, select the polygon. I'm gonna go and use the inset tool. So I'm gonna choose inset, click the tick button. Let's detach the middle polygon, select the middle polygon, another inset. This time, let's choose a bit smaller. Let's go for a 30, click tick, and then detach, okay. Top one, polygon, select, select, detach, enter. Select those two, detach, enter. Let's select the outer frame actually, because this one's thicker. Let's go into the shell modifier. This one, let's choose 30 and 30. Let's choose the inner frame. Let's go to shell modifier again. Let's choose 15 and 15. Make sure it's in two mils for the chamfer, segments of two. And now all of a sudden we have that design, which is also really, really awesome. I'm going to go to modify list, let's go into the symmetry modifier and let's choose the mirror. Let's go underneath the edit poly mode and have a look. So I can make it obviously longer and I of course can make it wider, which is really cool, right? And if you are looking for a full comprehensive course that teaches 3ds Max from the absolute beginning, for the ArcVis industry, check out my course at viscourse.com.